Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video. Today it's time for a video about this very interesting bulb, which is a Philips Art Color MHT, which basically is a, a purple metal halide. Um, there will be a video soon of a, a blue one as well, and you might remember these bulbs from a video that I made last summer, a streetlight scenery video, and there was one street that had like only blue. Um, blue colored street lights and those are actually the bulbs that they use over there uh, they don't use the uh, violet version of course they use the blue version but there were some violets put in between because um, I think it was something like the uh, they didn't make the uh, blue bulbs anymore but they still had a small stock of purple that's why they got purple but yeah, this is still a brand new one. Those, by the way, are now converted to blue LEDs instead of uh, bulbs. And these are, as you can see, 400 watt bulbs made by Philips. There's some um, information there as well. Nothing too interesting. Now let's take a look at the bulb itself. So, um, this is a brand new one, as you can see. Um, the filament here is still clear. Here I have a used one as well, which you can kind of see the difference. This one isn't even that old. Right here I have a blue one I think. This one is a lot older as you can see. It slowly turns black. And also the glass tends to melt because of the heat of the bulb. Um, but that doesn't isn't really the case that much with the Philips bulbs. But let's take a look at the ballast uh, these bulbs need. Which is quite a heavy block. So this is a ballast for a 400 watt uh, bulb, as you can see it's quite big, it's very heavy as well. Then we have two uh, capacitors and, and an igniter and a E40 socket. So these ballasts were straight uh, taken out, uh, straight out of the uh, old fixtures. Or at least the fixtures got, uh, they got an LED plate in them so we had to take all of the ballasts and everything out and I decided to take one home for a video. So let's um, actually put the bulb in and uh, see what kind of startup they have because I've actually never really seen them start up before as well. And I think that this will be a good angle. So let's turn this thing on. I hope the cable is long enough. That was a really interesting start there. Said I didn't really get it on camera that well. So it starts out kind of normal, like just like a sort of a mercury vapor green. Now it's actually going to uh, get a different color, and I'll try turning the lights off so you can kind of see the colors. Now it's a really deep mercury vapor blue, kind of green blue. And now it's starting to turn purple. So you can already kind of feel the <laughs> heat that the bulb generates. Now it's actually turning purple pretty, <laughs> pretty clearly. And it also kind of hurts to look. Especially when the bulb kind of trips like this, then it does turn really purple. Let me see if I can get a little close up of the filament right here. I mean, you wouldn't really tell it's 400 watts, uh, but if you look directly into it, it's actually really really bright and I think when you turn on the lights there's not really a big light difference anyway <laughs> those lights fall into nothing compared to this bulb so it does generate quite a lot of heat I mean once I put my hand right here I can already feel the heat that it generates so imagine how um, warm these bulbs would be if they were turned on all night So one last close up of the bulb before we turn it off. 
and let's see how it looks when it's turned off so you can still kind of see the heat in the filaments you probably uh, would see it better once like <laughs> I've completely I've had the bulb on for longer but since it does hurt my eyes a lot and um, it does use a lot of energy I'm not going to put it on for too long and that's also pretty much all I had to say about this 400 watt Philips MHT bulb so thanks for watching have a nice day and see you in the next video